we are going to factor polynomials in quadratic form. So let's remember what we mean by a quadratic. Something like x squared plus 7x plus 10. We want to know what two numbers multiply to 10 and add to 7. And we get x plus 5 and x plus 2. That gives us 10 when we multiply and 7 when we add. So what do we mean by a polynomial in quadratic form? Well, that means like x to the fourth plus 7x squared plus 10. It looks a lot like a quadratic, but the highest exponent is higher than, and than 2 because quadratics are degree 2, and degree is the highest exponent. And so this would factor very similarly, but instead of x, we have x squared plus 5 times x squared plus 2. If we multiply that out, the x squared times the x give us the x to the fourth, right? And then the x squared times 2 is the 2x, and the 5 times x squared is the 2x squared. And so that's why the middle term is squared. And so you'll notice that the middle term is twice, or 2 times the middle term, the exponent will be the first exponent. Or the first exponent is um, half that will be the middle exponent. So it doesn't work with x cubed, but it works with like x to the sixth plus 7x cubed plus 10. That would be x cubed plus 5 and x cubed plus 2. And we can keep going, right? Eighth and fourth, tenth and fifth, right? x to the eighth plus 7x to the fourth plus 10 would be x to the fourth plus 5 x to the fourth plus 2. So it looks like our trinomials that we factored, and the, um, the first terms in our factors are just um, higher degree. So they're the middle, whatever the middle term is. This is true also for difference of squares. So if we have x squared minus 25, we could do x squared, or sorry, x to the fourth minus 25. This would be x plus 5, x minus 5. And this would be x squared plus 5 and x squared minus 5. And again, you can keep going to the 6th. x cubed plus 5, x cubed minus 5. Now on this one, we have to be careful because things can be factored even more. If I have x squared minus 16, that's x plus 4, x minus 4. When I have x to the 4th minus 16, that becomes x squared plus 4 and x squared minus 4. And x squared minus 4 can be factored more. x plus 2, x minus 2. So you have to be careful to look for a difference of squares in the new factors as well. So let's do some examples. Here's an example of a difference of 625 x to the 8th minus 256. Well, 625 is a pretty big square number, but it's 25 squared. And then x to the 8th is x to the 4th squared. And 256 is 16. So this is 25x to the 4th squared minus 16 squared. So we have a difference of squares here. And so my factors are 25x to the 4th plus 16 and 25x to the 4th minus 16. And now I still have a difference of squares. So the sum of squares doesn't factor in the real numbers, but the difference of squares does. 5x squared minus 4 and 5x, well, 5x squared plus 4, 5x squared minus 4. It doesn't really matter whether I put the plus or the minus, but if this was just x squared minus 4 in the last factor, then I could keep factoring it, and it has to be factored completely. And so those are, that is how that factors. How about 2x to the 13th plus 10x to the 9th plus 8x to the 5th? Well, the first thing I always want to do is look for common factors. So I see a 2, and the smallest exponent I see is 5. So I'm going to take 2x to the 5th out. And then I'm going to take 2x to the 5th times x to the 8th would give me x to the 13th. And 2x to the 5th times 5x to the 4th would give me x to the 9th. And then plus 
eight. No, oh, no, sorry, plus four. Because I'm dividing by eight. And so I have two x to the fifth on the outside. And this is, let's see, what two numbers multiply to four and add to five, right? So we're really just doing our little diamond problem and it's one and four. So I have x to the fourth plus one and x to the fourth uh, plus four. And these are sum of squares. And those factor in the um, imaginary numbers. And we're gonna talk about that later. How about x to the sixth minus two x cubed um, minus eight. Okay, so this kind of looks like our trinomials again. I have x to the sixth and then half of that is three, so x cubed and then what two numbers multiply to negative eight and add to negative two. Well, that's negative four and positive two. And so that's x cubed minus four and x cubed plus two. Let's look at another difference of squares. Um, 81 x to the fourth minus 16. Let's just do um, 16. So um, I have 81 is 9 cubed, 9x squared, squared, and 16 is 4 squared. So that's 9x squared plus 4 and 9x squared minus 4. And I again have a difference of squares that can be factored more. And that's 3x squared and 2 squared. So we're going to factor this more. First we have 9x squared plus 4. And then we have 3x plus 2 and 3x minus 2. This is factored completely. You can't leave completely. You can't leave uh, unfactored polynomials in your final answer.